I'm trying something new here. We're just thinking outside the box because I've got so many cool things that I want to teach you and I don't always know how to deliver the content in the best way possible. So here we go. I'm going to start doing these, I don't know, call it vlogging where I'm just going to jam with you from my backyard, sitting by my fence, talking to the camera. And I hope that some of these trainings, teachings will resonate with you and give you some comfort, give you something to hold on to. Maybe it's hope, maybe it's inspiration, maybe it's motivation, maybe it's the kick in the pants that you need, whatever it is. I just wanna be real with you so you can get in my head a little bit and we can get on the same page. And before I dive into today's topic, what I wanna remind you is that please, please, please come to the Sassy Woman Sisterhood on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash groups slash my sassy life. You can get to know me even better there. I always welcome DMs, comments, all of the above and make sure that you stay connected here on YouTube because this is where I'm going to start posting many more trainings and videos and guided meditations and all this good stuff. So let's dive in. I had a conversation this morning about getting in flow and I just feel like this conversation needs to be had again and again because it's so easy to get caught up in all the noise, all the nonsense out there, all the bullshit, right? And to get in flow, it's like, okay, what the fuck does that mean? What does it mean to fucking get in flow? Here's what I think it means. It's a combination of getting in alignment with your core values and allowing yourself to be present in the moment, whatever's going on. But you have to be willing to tap into who are you and what's your energy about? And who are you authentically? And I'm not talking about like, I'm authentic. Like I'm talking about, let's get real sister. Who are you authentically at your core? Maybe you're like a badass bitch that just wants to show up and be like, dude, this is who I fucking am. That's awesome. Or maybe you're just like, I really love just observing and being a little more introspective and introverted. But I really like to hold space for other people and listen to what they have to say. And that's also awesome. So whoever you are, when you can own that and really acknowledge and be aware and just understand who you are at your core, that's one of the best ways to get, sorry, there's like birds flying by in front of my face. That's one of the best ways to get into this state of flow. I used to find myself really stressed out, like really fucking stressed out. I remember when I was in my 20s and I had this really, you know, it wasn't like swanky, but I had this corporate job and I thought I was the shit and I was making all this money and I thought it was so badass and I was like working my way up the ladder. I lived in LA and if anybody knows LA, so it's crazy there. Like the traffic's a mess. Everything's a mess. To go, you know, two miles, it could take you an hour when traffic's gnarly. So I would do my job every day and I would work my ass off and I would be, you know, I was in sales. So I was not literally knocking on doors, dialing for dollars, doing the things, wearing my pantyhose, my suits, my high heels, the whole bit, carrying my briefcase with all my paperwork and my laptop or yeah, I had a laptop. And I would come home at the end of the day to my little apartment in West LA and my back and my neck would fucking hurt so bad. And I was like addicted to Advil. I was popping pills like, probably, I think the dose is two, and I would take three at a time. Sorry, there's a plane overhead. I live in the flight path. Let's let that go. Anyway, I would take Advil three at a time, at least three times a day, every single day. I had so much pain in my neck and my upper shoulders. So then I thought, okay, well, I need to go to a chiropractor. So I would get in my car in West LA, and I would drive to fucking Studio City. Studio City is probably... I don't know, maybe like a 20 mile drive from where I lived, maybe 15 miles. I would literally sit in traffic for over an hour, which made me even more stressed. Go to the chiropractor, do the treatment for an hour, and then drive home in more fucking traffic. I don't know why I did this. I was so out of alignment in all the ways. Like it's not, it's not lost on me that a chiropractor says that they're going to put you in alignment. I was out of alignment in so many ways because I was so convinced that this was how I had to live my life. This is what I had to do. I had to work my ass off. I had to make all this money. I had to do this LA thing, this grind, this hustle. And there were parts of it that were super fun. Don't get me wrong. I had a great time going out to happy hours and like being in that competitive spirit and all of that. But if I look back and if I think about you know, who am I and what do I want in my life? 
for sure that kind of pain and that kind of stress and that kind of mentality was not what I wanted. So I was so totally out of alignment and my body was literally screaming at me, literally screaming at me. I woke up this morning and I had a little headache and I did take some Advil. And it just reminded me of that because I used to take it so often and I hardly ever take it now. When I have like headaches and hormones and whatever, I try to knock it out quickly because there's no reason any of us should be in pain. So I took one dose of Advil today because I had a headache, got rid of it, knocked it out, it was all good. But I, I think back to that time when I was popping all those Advils all the time. I was so out of alignment. I was constantly in pain. I was constantly stressed. I constantly had this like accelerated heartbeat and not in my stomach because I was worried. What about the next deal? What kind of catastrophe is going to happen? Am I going to make my quota? Am I going to be as good as the other person in the office? I had those thoughts going through my head all the fucking time and it was ridiculous and it made me feel awful. And I think about now and like, I'm sitting here in my backyard, the birds are chirping, the plane's going overhead, I'm about to go on a walk pretty soon, and I had the chance to talk to you about how do we get into alignment? How do we get into flow? And I know at my core, the things that are most important to me, authenticity, freedom, fun, and love, those are my four core values. Authenticity, freedom, fun, love. I write them down in my journal every single morning. I'll do another one of these on journaling because I have a lot to say about that. But because I'm in that place now where I understand like this is what's important to me. I make decisions in my life that are based on those core values. And if something is out of alignment, I'm much more likely to say no, set up a boundary. And I understand now that I am only available for this amazing life that I have created for myself because I understand what my values are and how to stay in alignment with them. If I were to go back to my, you know, 25 year old self, that was hustling in LA, doing all that nonsense. And I could tell her, honey, this is not who you are. You don't need to live this life to be successful, to be worthy, to have everything that you desire. First of all, that girl would have slapped me in the face and been like, bitch, shut the fuck up. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I would have done that. Well, maybe not the slapping part, but I would have thought it. But if I could, you know, look back and just tell myself that, it's just about getting into who are you? So when we talk about getting into flow and getting into this place of living your best life and being in alignment, it's about how can I be true to myself? How can I be true to my core? How can I make decisions and set boundaries that really honor who I am and what I desire and what I want? And guess what? Here's the big secret. When you do that, it feels so good. Literally every single day, I feel amazing. There's moments when somebody pisses me off, my kids make me crazy, I wake up with a headache, right? It's not all, what is it, roses and unicorns. But you know what, 95% of the time, maybe even 98% of the time, I feel fucking awesome. And I love that. And I'm blessed and I choose it every single day. I choose it every single day. And you have that same choice every single day to choose to be who you are, what you want, live in alignment and find your flow. So if you're finding yourself in resistance, I just want to remind you that there's a reason for it. And if you're feeling the resistance, it's time to ask yourself, what am I resisting? Why am I not in flow? What is going on with me? And if that's the case, I'd love to hear from you. So please reach out. Please let me know how I can support you, how I can help you, how I can help you find that flow. Because when you get there, sister, I promise you, you are going to feel amazing and you are worth every single thing that you desire. You are worth every single thing that you desire. I love you. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.